what's an offering plan? I'd never heard of an offering plan after doing real estate for 10 years until I moved to New York. But in New York, an offering plan is a very important document that all buildings have. And every time you have a real estate transaction, the lawyers for the transaction are going to look at the offering plan and it's going to have interesting information. Now, some of these things are old. The pages are sideways. You're wondering what in this offering plan is significant. And to be honest with you, not that much. But there's one part of the offering plan that is significant, and that is called the Schedule A. And in a co-op, what the Schedule A does is shows how many shares each apartment has. And in a condo, the Schedule A shows the original pricing and the square footage. They might have it in a co-op. It's not always there. Uh, an offering plan is filed with the Attorney General of the state, and then every time something changes, they have to file an amendment to the offering plan. And amendments to offering plans could be subject to legal uh, opinion. So some lawyers who work for the developers might think that a lot of things need to be filed as amendments to the offering plan. And a lot of times when you look back at offering plans, you're like, why did they put that in there? I feel like sometimes it's just to create more legal work. Um, but by and large, the offering plan will have everything uh, associated with marketing the home.